so simple tutorial good morning students welcome to sst so simple tutorial in the previous session we discussed the industrial pollution and their types in today's session we will discuss control of environmental degradation here we will try to learn how to control the pollution how to fight it out so that we can continue development without damaging the environment this pollution can be prevented to a large extent by carefully planning of industries better designed equipment and better operation of the equipment let us talk on water pollution first dear students water is the basic necessity for the functioning of all forms of life that exist on earth it is impossible to think of life without water though water is found in abundance and a renewable resource yet we suffer from water scarcity increasing pollution and urban centers have increased water requirements the matter is further aggravated by the industries that pollute the sources of this precious resource so the concern to save water is genuine and steps must be taken to reduce pollution of fresh water resources students it is said every liter of waste water discharged by our industry pollutes eight times the quantity of fresh water just think how can then industrial pollution of fresh water be reduced firstly this can be done by minimizing use of water for processing by reusing and recycling it in two or more successive stages secondly to meet the requirements of such industries where water is a major raw material for production the system of rain water harvesting can be made use of this will also result in the cost cutting on water bills thirdly industrial pollution of fresh water resources can be reduced by treating waste water hot water and effluents before releasing them in the rivers and ponds treatment of industrial effluents can be done in three phases that is primary treatment secondary treatment and tertiary treatment first primary treatment is done by mechanical means it involves screening grinding flocculation and sedimentation by screening we prevent coarse solids such as plastics rags and other trash from entering the treatment plant as you can see in the slide solids get trapped by inclined screens or bar racks you just imagine how you filter tea before pouring in the cup so screening is a sort of filtering even when screening is employed some percentage of solids remain in the system which might block the flow or passage of the liquid so the size of such solids are reduced by grinding them while still in the waste stream the commuter in the slide does this work just imagine for making dosa what your mixer does to rice and dal it grinds them to find paste then comes flocculation flocculation is a process by which a chemical coagulant called flocculant is added to the water to help remove materials suspended in water flocculant facilitates bonding between particles it creates larger aggregates of fine particles which floats on the surface or settles at the bottom these impurities then can be easily removed from the liquid to understand this phenomena just think what happens when alum also called potash alum or fitkiri in hindi is added to muddy water it forms a precipitate and impurities get deposited at the bottom of water and you get clean water so this is the primary treatment in simple terms after primary treatment 50 to 70% of the suspended solids in waste water is normally removed let us see the secondary treatment by biological process in this stage the material remaining after the primary treatment is treated biologically this system uses helpful bacteria the aerobic bacteria consumes organic matter in the sewage the anaerobic bacteria decompose organic matter in the waste water and produces methane gas after primary and secondary treatment waste water is clean enough to be discharged into the environment 
Therefore, most wastewater treatment systems mainly does primary and secondary treatment. Third is your tertiary treatment. Tertiary treatment by biological, chemical and physical processes. This third stage of treatment removes inorganic compounds, bacteria, viruses and parasites present in water. Chlorination and dechlorination is done at this stage. Chlorination treatment kills bacteria and viruses, thus water gets disinfected. Finally, chlorine that was used to disinfect the water is removed. This step is very important because chlorine is harmful to aquatic life. The tertiary treatment achieves that level of water purification that it is fit for drinking. So this stage is used by municipal water supplies. Tertiary treatment is also required if water is to be used for irrigation or if water is to be discharged into sensitive aquatic ecosystems such as estuaries or waters close to coral reefs. I hope you must have got some idea or say rough idea of the water treatment process. In the slide you can see sewage treatment plan under Yamuna action plan at Faridabad. Let us talk air pollution. The most important thing is to remove particulate matter in the emission. This can be done by fitting smoke stacks to factories with electrostatic precipitators, fabric filters, scrubbers and inertial separators. A smoke stack is tall vertical pipe that takes out the smoke from a factory into the air. Normally we call it chimney. Okay. Electrostatic precipitators, fabric filters, scrubbers etc. are basically commonly used equipment to collect fine particles. Smoke can be reduced by using oil or gas instead of coal in factories. Oil produces less carbon dioxide emissions than coal. And natural gas, you know, is the cleanest burning fossil fuel. Electricity generation with natural gas is very efficient and produces less waste. Let us see noise pollution now. You must have observed these silent generators being used these days. The old noise producing generators are not used. In the industries, generators should be fitted with silencers. Almost all machinery can be redesigned to increase energy efficiency and reduce noise. Noise absorbing materials may be used. Workers who are exposed to very high noises should be provided with ear plugs or ear buffs. With this, the topic of the day gets finished. Time for probable questions now. 1. How can the industrial pollution of fresh water be reduced? 2. Discuss the steps to be taken to minimize environmental degradation by industry. Now you read the textbook and prepare answer to these questions. In the next class, we will read NTPC shows the way. Till then, keep reading and have a nice time. Thank you.